Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we continue our music theory series right here at BusyWorksBeats.com slash music theory. Today we're going to cover the 432 Hertz mystery. What is it and why is it so important and why do so many people hate it? So firstly, I'll break the myth that 432 doesn't matter. It comes down to this. I'll keep it simple. I'll get straight to the point in this video. I don't want to bore people, okay? Like other channels, they talk about, oh, 432 was not good, it doesn't sound good, it's just gone in for no reason. Anyway, this is what it's really about. This is the ancient science, okay? So Pythagorean triangles, they taught you these in school, but they didn't tell you why it was so important. So there's a golden ratio, there's a perfect ratio when it comes to shapes and geometry. I'm not going to get into everything about everything, okay? And the occult, but what it comes down to in this triangle is that you have one angle that's 108 degrees and you have two other angles which are 36 degrees and together they make 180 degrees combined now the other secret on top of that is that 108 if you do numerology counting which is adding the numbers within the number so 1 plus 0 plus 8 is 9 okay and 3 plus 6 is 9 and 3 plus 6 is 9 and 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27 2 plus 7 is 9 so this is what they consider perfect ratio also, there's a three to one ratio per each side. There's a deep science to it. I'll leave a link below to the guy who explains like the math behind it. I'll also leave a link below to the secret BPMs video that I made explaining this. So pull out your calculators with me and let's do some math. Very simple math. So I have my iPhone calculator. So let's do. So here's how you find all the secret numbers. OK, so 408 times three. Whoops, did that wrong. So 408 okay, times three three meaning creating multiples or harmonics I, sp I did that wrong one that's a 408 108 times three. Oh no excuse me 108 times four that's the number is 432 i can't do mental math i need to go back to school a little bit so 108 times four is 432 that's the golden ratio of frequency and a lot of our instruments are tuned to 440 hertz so without going further into the math let's describe what that means so by default, a lot of your plugins are tuned to, if you go to the systems tab here, now a lot of plugins don't have this ready available like this simple screen, but concert pitch is 440. And I'll play a chord progression I already played. But what happens is, it's just like when you pick up your guitar, it's not automatically tuned, so you have to tune it. The same thing goes for your plugins or your piano when it goes out of tune it has to be tuned and the way they tune it let me show you a different angle is let's pull up guitar rig so when you're tuning your guitar now you'll notice this when you play to a lot of older records a lot of older records did not tune to 440 hertz especially funk especially those genres where you're like why is this so good it's because they tune their instruments completely differently so if you use the tune fork and you could pull it down to 432 to tune your middle A to 432 instead of 440. It makes a dramatic difference because, well, it sounded weird. Because if you play instruments that are out of tune, they sound out of key, even though they're not in key. Uh, excuse me, even though they're in key, they sound out of key because they're simply tuned incorrectly. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about here. All right, so we have another instance of Nexus. Let's tune this one to 445 just to make sure that it's out of tune. And we're going to play in a different screen uh, let's see just all the white notes a b c d you can try this at home with your plugins if you want and let's copy the same sequence and then paste it in the 445 Hertz so I'm gonna pan one now it's gonna sound detuned because that's what detuning is let's play them side by side let's play this I didn't think I'm improving all this uh, hard work right here so give the video a like if you like all this extra hard work that I'm doing right in front of your eyes okay let's paste this and then I'll slide it over did I do that right or did I just waste my time doing that no no let's just do it this way I did it in the wrong thing okay and slide these over so the first note will be the in tune one in tune quote unquote and the second one will be the out of key one or out of tune one So what happens is when you're playing, let me just map out some simple chords. 
When you're playing in one tuning and not in another, you'll always think that you're like doing something wrong just because your instrument isn't tuned. It's just like picking up that guitar without tuning. You have to tune first. I'm just gonna play random chords. This isn't, there's no rhyme or reason to this chord progression, okay? Now I'm going to detune the second piano and play the same exact scale, but it's going to sound wrong. So I'm playing all the white notes. Why does it sound out of key when we're playing the same exact notes? It's because of the tuning. Now when you get closer and closer to 440 hertz, it doesn't have a dramatic difference, but that's the main key is that that's the secret of it, okay? So tuning is very important. So why is 432 hertz so important? Why should we even vary or change from the uh, concert pitch? It's because it comes back to Pythagorean theorem. And this goes to golden ratios and all the sacred geometry, all these things. Now, here's the secret. If you go look at the video below, hopefully I remember to link it, the cymatic experiment, what it shows is something on a, on a uh, speaker like sand and they go through different frequencies and they oscillate. So as the speaker is vibrating at different frequencies, the sand starts doing different things. And at 430 hertz, 432 hertz tuning, the sand actually creates form. This is the importance of 432 hertz. You are taking an invisible thing like waves or an invisible thing like sound and making it visible in this reality. That is the secret behind 432 hertz. You are taking something that's invisible and making it visible. You are essentially manifesting form. Now, if you're a biblical student, in the beginning of, you know, the story of Genesis talks about the creator of the universe spoke across the water. That's the sound wave, right? Going across the water, which is the medium. Now, at a certain frequency across that water, a certain tuning across that water, you can create form out of the water. So instead of it being some uh, massive chaotic void, it turns into shape. That's the secret, how to turn chaos into order, 432 hertz. That's the real occultic secret behind it. It's not just, does it sound good or does it sound worse? No, it has a way deeper meaning than that. And they don't want you to know this in school and they don't want you to know this on mainstream YouTube from YouTubers always bashing 432 because they don't want you to manifest your inner dreams. They don't want you to know your brain is a transmitter of frequency. They don't want you to know you can manifest your future and your destiny. They don't want you to understand this because if you understand frequency, you understand that you are the oscillator of the universe and you are a creator in a sense, okay, of the source. You're a piece of the source. You can create oscillation and you can be modulated by oscillation, but that's a whole different conversation. Um, so 432 Hertz, I think it sounds pleasing. Now you'll notice that here's my last tidbit I'll say is that when you have a singer in the studio and they sing naturally without any keys behind it, without any instruments, they'll actually be singing at 432 or they'll be singing at 445. They won't always be singing naturally at 440 Hertz tuning. So that's just something you have to be aware of, but that's the magic of 432 Hertz tuning. I want you to go practice on YouTube. Hopefully I remember all these links. Okay. I have a guitar practice playlist. And at the bottom of the playlist, I have some funk songs. And those funk songs are tuned to 432 hertz. That's why they're so magical of an experience, okay? And that's been forgotten because the ancient secret from the Egyptians has been forgotten and and misconstrued and, and distorted by Germans and all these people who created all this other stuff, okay? So thank you for watching today. If you like this video and this concept, please like the video. And please share the videos below too, not just mine, but share the videos below because it will help people understand the mystery behind 432 hertz tuning. It's way deeper than the, the surface. Okay, so thank you for watching today. It's BusyWorksBeats.com.